Is your diet making you diabetic? Today, let's discuss an important issue. How does the standard Indian diet lead to diabetes? As you must have seen around you, people are getting diabetes at a younger and younger age. We are now getting it even below the age of 30. And guys, this is not normal. Even one generation ago, this was unheard of. And you know what? We've all heard even more extreme cases. By far the biggest challenge in the Indian diet is that people are eating too many carbohydrates. Our food is made up of fat, protein and carbohydrates. These are the three basic components and Indians are typically eating way too much of carbohydrates. Let me give you an example. Aloo is a carbohydrate, wheat is a carbohydrate and dal and lentils are carbohydrates. So if you are having a typical dinner which is aloo ki sabji, dal and roti, all of the things you're having are carbohydrates, completely carbs. Very, very often, we eat at least one dal and one rice or roti. So it's very normal for two thirds of our meal to be carbs. And let's face it, we love aloo. So if you want to reduce your carbohydrate intake, you can add some spinach to your dal, add some loki to your dal, and instead of normal rice, consider cauliflower rice. The other thing you should do is try to add green vegetables to every meal. Replace the aloo with a non-starchy vegetable. You've got gobi, patta gobi, palak, karela, bangan, bhindi. Because you see starch is also a carbohydrate. The other culprit in our Indian diet is fat. Contrary to many opinions, I don't believe in low fat or no fat. We need fat. We need fat for our joints, for our nervous system. Our body needs fat. However, today we are eating all types of fats and many of them are really, really bad fats. In many restaurants, the food is constantly reheated and this leads to trans fats. And trans fats are foreign to our body. They actually lead to swelling at a genetic level. There's also something to be said about the quality of fat. When you open a pack of packaged foods like potato chips or bhujia, these fat qualities are very, very poor and they're very high in saturated fats. So trans fats and saturated fats, you gotta avoid it. And finally, let me talk about nutrition and raw vegetables. So most of the ingredients, the vitamins, the minerals, that all comes in the raw form and then as you eat it, it decreases. You should be eating 250 grams of raw vegetables a day, but most of us barely eat 50. So we're not getting enough fiber and phytochemicals and minerals in our diet. So these are some of the reasons why people are falling sick. So now let's change and talk about what can you do to avoid getting sick. Try to eat all kinds of vegetables. Try to eat colored vegetables, deep colored vegetables, because the color comes from something that is good for you. Minimize your consumption of starchy vegetables. Don't eat too much carbs and if possible, eliminate aloo. Eat some salad every day. All of these things add up. Have some juice every day. If you have even 50 ml of juice, by the end of the year, you would have had 15 liters of juice. Avoid packaged foods. We can teach you how to make snacks right here. Just following these few simple steps and doing them every day will bring a permanent change in your body. This is the Cure My Diabetes channel and stay tuned for how to improve your health.